Mm. You look tired. But, you know, then again, who wouldn't be after a night of breaking and entering? You know, it's funny because I always thought of you as just boring and predictable, and there you were, ransacking Johnny's apartment. Police commissioner's niece, no less. I honestly didn't realize that you were so desperate. Yeah, it's a shame that you and Johnny walked in when you did because 10 more minutes and Patrick and I would have found the syringe. You must have been at your whiny victim best to convince Patrick to go along with it. I didn't have to convince him of anything. Mm. You've been hammering him with guilt because he turned to me for what he's clearly not getting at home. You know, Johnny hasn't ruled out pressing charges. You know what? Bring it on, okay? I am so ready for this thing to be over with. A year of you trying to destroy my life and my marriage, and now your plan is finally unraveling. Okay, you are only hurting yourself and your family. And I'm just really worried about your little girl. Emma are you threatening my little girl woman? again? Oh, whoa, there is only one person who's out of control. Yeah, and that would be you, Lisa. Patrick, I know it's been tough. She's been twisting you up with guilt that you're, you're breaking the law, you're putting your... your you know, you should just worry about your own life. Because your career's gonna be non-existent by the time I'm done with you. Okay, everybody, let's just take a step back. Actually, you know what, Terrell? I'm glad you're here because you don't know what's going on. There are two sides to every story. Huh? Actually, no, the only story is that Lisa is a psychopath. She's tried to kill Robin, she's threatened my life, she's threatened our daughter's life, and she's gotten away with it somehow. But you know what? That's gonna end real soon. Yeah, Lisa's broken into our house on a few occasions. I'd come home and things would be moved around. One time I walked in and she's just watching TV, sitting on the couch, drinking I came a beer. For a visit. And then she kidnapped so Emma. I took her for ice cream. Without telling Robin or I where the you were going. Gave me we're twisting and wind, wondering if our daughter's missing, just to prove a point that you were in my life and you weren't going anywhere. Oh, that's absurd, Patrick. Oh, and then she drugged Robin. Okay, and not yeah, that brought her out to the woods, left pals, her in a cabin. Clean. Okay, you know, if there was if there was proof to support any of this, I would not be here. <laughs> This is all part of Robin's paranoid imagination. Imagination? Right? I don't think we imagined you waving a gun. Okay, that is painfully real. It was bad enough having Robin paint me as some sort of evil seducer, but then when you came on board, it... the only person that I tried to kill with that gun was myself. Okay, and I've gotten my life back on track. Oh my and God, are you really painting yourself as the victim here? Did you hear your page? No, I, I didn't. No, no, you were too busy standing around rehashing the same old garbage. I'm sorry, where do you want me to go? I already sent another doctor, but this is it. I'm done. You all need to grow up. The next time this happens, Robin and Lisa are getting suspended. talking to Robin, who's being her uh, usual snarky self, and then Patrick and Terrell came up, and Patrick just launched into this attack on me. You know how Patrick defends Robin? No, this was worse. He just kept going on and on and on, just listing every single one of my sins. Terrell tried to defend me, and Patrick shut him down, and I know it was all for Robin's benefit, but he ripped me to shreds. Okay, you saw how we acted last night when we caught them breaking in here. Come on. No. This was worse. I mean, you should have seen the look on his face. It was like he truly despised me. His voice was just dripping with contempt and disgust. I almost burst into tears, but I didn't want to give Robin the satisfaction. I just, I don't understand. Patrick and I have a history longer than he's ever had with Robin. We've had all these great times together, and I was acting like none of it even existed. I mean, how can he do that? How can he just, just block that from his mind? He got married. He moved on. Maybe I'm just playing a fool's game, maybe. Despite how great things were with Hannah, I think he'll never love me as much as I loved him. Hey, that's great. Hey, maybe the fact that you realize that means you're halfway there. So give it up, Lisa, you deserve better. 
I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. I know that the path that I've been going down might be self-destructive, but I sometimes wonder why I haven't stepped off. You still can. It's never too late. Okay, well, what about Patrick? I mean, he says he's happy. I know he's not. That's his business, not yours. Well, it's hard to stand by and watch Robin slowly kill the Patrick that I loved. That guy's gone. If he ever existed in the first place, now stop throwing your life away by chasing him. Well, sometimes it feels like I don't have a life without Patrick. Oh, Lisa, open your eyes. Hey, you are a brilliant surgeon. You're young. You're beautiful. And then why doesn't Patrick see that? Okay, as of now, there's no proof that you tried to hurt Robin. Now would be a good time to give it up. Start over. And do what? Well, maybe I can help you. <laughs> you're the one who said that I'm in sorry shape if you're my savior. Yeah, you have to want to save yourself. It's the hospital. Uh, Dr. Lisa Niles. It's Steve. Two teens were brought in a motorcycle accident. Neither were wearing helmets. I need you and Patrick to consult. Tell Patrick get the scans ready. I'll be there right away. Well, you just won't give up, will you? Well, it's my job. The chief of staff needs me to work on a case. You and Patrick. Patrick and I are the best at what we do. I mean, Patrick's always respected me as a surgeon. So leave it at that. <sighs> okay, I am not the psycho stalker that his wife wants him to believe. Patrick and I are an amazing team. I will right, we'll handle the case, we'll do the surgery, and then he'll remember all the reasons that he wanted to be with me. I can swing a few more hours in the AIDS waiting if you need the help. Yeah, I'll take you up on that, thanks. I'm seriously overworked in there. Yeah, some overworked doctors here too. Temper's running high in that little drama you broke up earlier. Well, unfortunately, that's nothing new. Patrick was throwing out some crazy accusations at Lisa. He was exaggerating, right? Truthfully, I don't know. Lisa and Patrick did have an affair. Lisa did have a breakdown. None of the other allegations have been proven. Uh, Chief, it's not a good time for me to be working with Lisa. No, it's too bad. I need you both on the console. There's other doctors at the hospital that can do it. This isn't high school. Get over it. Do your jobs. Can we get a chance to look on the chart? Yeah, let's go. Are you doing okay? <sighs> you must think we're all crazy. But, uh, I promise you, it's just Lisa. There's serious damage to the frontal lobe. I'm sorry, excuse me. You have input, or...? You know, I think you're on the right track. I actually need to leave this in your hands. Okay. Excuse me, uh, I'm Robin Scorpio Drake. Did Johnny Lepar leave something here for me? 